Ian Botham uh, was a guest editor of Today, the radio programme. And during his broadcast, he praised the Australian free trade agreement with the UK, something that George Eustace, the former minister, has belittled. I think George Eustace is absolutely right. And um, I think Botham is a cricketer. Uh, did I say did I say that wrongly? No, I think I said that correctly. And I think Botham should uh, content himself with the fact that he was a very great cricketer. And that is where it stops. So Botham is now giving us political advice as a member of the House of Lords, something that he's keen to reform or abolish or whatever. I don't quite understand what he wants from that. Um, but uh, possibly possibly another platform. Anyway, he's a keen Brexiteer, and his response to all this is to say, stop harping on about Brexit. Why? I would love to harp on about Brexit. I would love somebody to stand up and tell me what is right. So Botham thinks that the free trade agreement with Australia is right, and yet Eustace says there's no point in it. Well, who, who do I believe? Somebody who is a former cricketer or somebody who has been a former minister? Or do I make up my own mind? I prefer to make up my own mind, but um, nobody's talking. And with Brexit trying to down, and with both of them trying to dampen down that conversation, nobody's likely to be talking. After all, we all listen to Ian Botham, don't we, when he speaks politically. Now, uh, I don't have a lot of experience of cricket. I barely know how to play the game. Um, I do, on the other hand, have some very, very entertaining experiences of cricketers. Um, I remember getting in the back of a car once when I was a young child, and the man who was driving the car, it was quite a big car, I think it was a Rolls or something, um, the man who was driving the car turned out to be um, really quite a, quite a prestigious cricketer. And, um, and I remember he asked me um, whether I'd been to Lords, and I, I said, well, no, I've never been to the south of France. Um, and he was a little disappointed. He was a gruff Yorkshireman, and I think... Um, I think on the radio a few days later, he pointed out that uh, it was um, it, it 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 put him in his place to realise that somebody who was friends of the family didn't know what he did and who he was, and I think that is perfectly reasonable. <laughs>